to my channel. My name is Karina and I am an SLPA who typically makes speech videos for other SLPAs, but I am also a mom to an 18 month old baby boy. So from time to time, I do share videos about my son and my personal life as well. Now today's video is talking about the Graco Premier Fold 7-in-1 High Chair. And what I'll be doing is basically showing you guys each step how to get there. So beginning with the very first one, which is the full high chair. This is where the actual seating like position is a little bit more leaned back. And that is, I'm assuming, because if your baby is starting to eat and they can't necessarily sit up all the way or they're having trouble sitting up by themselves, this is kind of some support to help them out, have them still feel comfortable while you have them in a high chair and are feeding them and or if they're eating by themselves. The second one I'm showing you all is a lot, again, like the first one. However, this one is with the seating position all the way up. And this is to help support them while they are able to already sit up by themselves. So again, a lot like the first one, they're able to eat and stuff. They have the full tray in front of them and it's exactly the same. Third position is where it starts to really change. This third one is without the legs. It's everything pretty much from the seat up. It still has the supporting tray. However, this is meant for you to put it at your table essentially it's meant for you to put it in a seat and for your baby to be included in meals with your family now this one is helpful however i personally did not find the tray very useful when i was wanting the baby at our dining table still great because again you get the baby to interact and you get the baby to feel supported and they have their seat and all that there and they're able to kind of make a mess at their own sort of table kind of separate from the dining table right where you're all eating but i mean that's just the third one the fourth position that it gets into is where it's kind of just like a booster seat this is already completely without the seating support and it's without the tray and this is just your toddler sitting in the seat on a chair included in the dining table and all. This is probably the most frustrating and difficult part um, about this high chair. You have to, now to make it into the booster seat, you have to completely take off like this seating position, which to me is a little bit more difficult. I don't know if every single model has this, but my model of the high chair has screws inside. So essentially you want to lift up this flap and this flap however this one has the screw this one i've already loosened it you want to be able to pull this flap and then completely pull this part out because the booster is literally just here you know what i mean so let me show you guys Okay, the last step, I finally was able to get this back part off. The last step is making sure that these buttons that you've already previously had on the high chair are off now. For sure harder than I was expecting, but not impossible. Um, so here we have it. This is the booster seat. This fifth position has to be my favorite because it's kind of a chair completely by itself. And I like that it's a little bit higher. I mean, you get to adjust it as you'd like, but um, it is a little bit higher up like for your baby to be included at the table. Just kidding, uh, the number six, this stage has to be my all time favorite. This has been my most used for my son at this 18 month old stage. Um, we use this setting where it's the table and then the chair by itself, kind of included, you know, um, it's together in one, but I like it because you're able to use the table for like an activity or to have them sitting in one space for them only. And then the chair obviously goes along with it. So by this time, my son is able to get in and out of the seat and he understands that the table goes along with him so he could either eat dinner he could have his lunch there he could do an activity like I mentioned earlier and that's really what we use it for we use it a lot for activity so let's bring it down from this setting into the next one which is then a chair and a table you want to completely flip this over and you're essentially going to take off this bottom part and then the back bottom part So now we have our chair right here, and it's gonna be a part of the next um, setting. And then we still have this right here, which used to be the tray that you were able to just completely pull off using these two sides from the high chair. And now you're going to attach 
all of these pieces. Um, this side with the wheel will go in the very front of it. And of course, the last, the seventh position that you could change it into is actually two different things. It's the chair that was used previously. I think it was step five or the position number five. And then you're also using it as you used it previously, which is the supported high chair for a younger infant. At this point, the company is assuming, you know, you're able to use it with multiple people, which is also really great. This, um, after you're done with this booster seat and you don't plan on using it anymore, you can just kind of put that to the side and then you are still left with this beauty. You still have this big seat, which is essentially the bottom half of the high chair. You've kind of disassembled the first half, right? So this is the part that's gonna be difficult to, if you want to use um, for the last position, which is the seventh position. And that's the table, of course, with this a lot smaller. And then you have the sort of booster seat with the tray in front for two children at that point. So that is all that I have for you all in this Graco high chair. I really like that you're able to change this up and use it in so many different ways because let me tell you right now that my son is at the 18 month mark. As I mentioned earlier, we're using a lot of his table and the chair and I personally love it because I was not having to go out and look for something else for him. I could very easily, you know, go out and find something for like a hundred bucks um, from Target, Amazon. That's just a table and most likely going to have at least two chairs but right now he is the only child so I don't see a need for any of that and really it's just saving us space um, and I like that it's able to grow with your infant of course because not only are you saving space you know in using this high chair over and over again but you're not having to worry about selling some things keeping some things for a future baby if that's in your plans or selling it and getting rid of it and oh my gosh where do we store it now now we have the high chair and we have a table and a chair it eliminates all that extra stuff and unnecessary like buying you know so i really like this because again it's growing with your toddler and you're able to use it in so many ways so i highly highly recommend this if you are considering getting this high chair i highly recommend it and if you found this video helpful please make sure to give my video a like and subscribe to my channel as well it'll mean so so much to me and i will catch you in my next one bye